Good morning. June 26th, day 26. I love it. It'll be easy to remember for the next little while. I'm here at the uh, Metcalf crevice. Um, yeah, spent the night here. Fantastic. Wet camp. Number two. Um, wow, what a popular place. Uh, people, there's uh, sort of caves here and there was... Uh, there was climbers here till late. They go right to the last minute, I guess. Uh, young fellows, uh, I don't know if they come after work or, or what they do. But, uh, yeah, good night. Uh, coolish. Uh, dew wasn't bad, but, uh, yeah. What can I say? Loved it. Um, I've spread my stuff out. Uh, I happen to have a, a couple planks in that. I was going to show you what's in my pack. While I have the opportunity, um, today I'm going to do my 20 to 25 kilometers. Um, I am going to hit a town called Kimberley, a small hamlet. Um, I don't know if the store is open today. The web said it was closed on Tuesday. Don't know. It wasn't a resupply place, but just a place to get a few luxuries. But uh, uh, let me show you what's in my pack. Okay, one second. This was last night's camp. Uh, I I never make a fire. There's there, there's no need. Um, there was a nice board here, so things got spread out, and I said, ah, before I put them away, maybe I could show show you if it could help. Uh, that's my little pack, little liner, and inside I already have my. Uh, my uh, platypus, I guess it's called, water bladder, and my um, air mattress is tucked in the back. So, and then over here, it's, it's just a pillow. So I use for mixed drinks, my food bag. This is my water filtration, a little bit of my pegs. I still have a few more. That's a net, mosquito net. This is my ditty bag, odds and ends, hygiene. This is uh, another ditty bag, but I, I keep it closer at hand. A little bit of toilet paper, some money if I get through a town. I like to access that one a little bit faster. That's um, a poncho tarp. That's my bivy. And then over here, my sleeping bag, which is... I'm just airing that out. A little bit of line I carry. Put my camps together. Spare clothes. That's a poncho that I, I keep. Sometimes my, my tarp's being used in case of a rain day and I need, or I'll just wear that sometimes and, and or I'll use it for laying stuff on. It works great, weighs nothing. Garbage bag little ground sheet and that's it that's my entire kit and it comes out to about oh eight eight and a half pounds and pretty well have everything I need okay so that way for me talk to you in a bit so that's everything that's packed up and uh, I'll just give you a little perspective here yeah, it's it's not big. It's a little unshapely right now because a little heavy on food because I just started. But uh, yeah, that's everything. This is, uh, you have to think of it as a walking trip and not a camping trip. Uh, because all day long you have to lug this stuff up and down. So <laughs> keep it light. Okay, I'm off down the trail. Later. Forest types are changing again here in the valley. I'm not down at the bottom yet, but nice. This is the water source that I was going for yesterday, but uh, decided not to. And I'm kind of glad because 
you can see the sun's not even reached this valley yet and and I would have been super tired and nowhere to camp but it's like a good water source anyway when I was breaking camp this morning I fell stopped to uh, to have a chat he says oh I'm doing a nine ten kilometer loop and I noticed he said he didn't have any water and I said oh no water said, oh no he said I have a baggie and he pulled out a little baggie and he says yeah you know when I come across a little spring or a creek you know I just have a drink of water and I said oh I says you know I, I, I filter my water to be sure he goes ah uh, local knowledge son local knowledge excuse the sun but that's about the best I could do there's the uh, the I don't know what you call it, the rock cliff I guess that the kids were climbing up and down the other night so I slept just below there and then I made my way down the valley to the river and then back up again but uh, yeah, quite a neat place. Just a tiny little side trail. I stuck my nose in just to see what was there. And there's like a little Zen waterfall. Look at this. <laughs> it's like, I don't know where they have family meetings here. Or <laughs> There's even a set of uh, reading glasses. I don't know if he comes here in the morning or she reads the newspaper, but uh, yeah, who needs a cottage? These are typical fences that uh, the old timers would build. They're basically just crisscross cedar posts, but uh, I just thought I'd show you that. As you can see behind me, I'm just finishing up some road walk and uh, I didn't know I had that much today uh, tell you the truth uh, I have more after this I'm gonna kind of meander through the forest here a little bit I pop out in another road walk and then I'm gonna end up in a little village called Kimberly and uh, hopefully there's something open there I can grab some fresh fruit or a drink or something but uh, yeah Pretty uneventful, uneventful day. Uh, I'm kind of zigzagging and and making my way to the center of the valley as I go down in elevation all the time. And uh, yep, making my way to the the I guess the southern portion of the valley. So, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it really. It's a lot of fun. Okay, later. Going along the bottom of McCluskey's Rock, I guess it's called, and uh, yeah, there's all kinds of little springs along here, so if you need, they're not big, but they're clear, and if you need to load up with water before you get back on your, uh, on your road walk, you can do that, so just to let you know. It's approaching uh, 12 o'clock, and I said, ah, oh, next spot I see that uh, looks good, I'm gonna have a lunch. And this shows up. So, yeah. I'm calling lunch. <laughs> You can see the valleys, I can see the other side of the valley. We're getting narrower and narrower, so 
Won't be long before I cross over. Okay, later. Looking into the valley and over to the uh, ski slopes. Which I guess eventually I'll be on that side. But for now I'm still meandering along the top here, but uh, I, I'm set to go down fairly soon here into Kimberley. Well, it's gonna be all the way to the bottom now. And then after a little village, I believe I have to climb all the way back up. Something called Old Baldy or something, which I imagine is that right over there. But, uh, yep, this is a lot of down. <laughs> okay, later. I'm officially at the bottom of the valley and I'm approaching Kimberley and that I guess is downtown Kimberley. <laughs> we'll see if there's anything there. It'd be nice to get a treat since I got to climb all the way back up so let's see what happens. Well looks like the village inn and restaurant is closed. Keep going. Well, I'm just leaving Kimberly. And uh, <laughs> I went to the general store. It was closed. But uh, the fellow was there and he just opened it up for me. And that was that. I, I got some cold drinks. They had all kinds of stuff there. Uh, you know, you could do like a little mini supply. And they had treats and, you know, odds and ends. And yeah, it was okay. He just says it's not busy enough uh, near the beginning of the week to, to have somebody there, so to speak. Uh, but uh, yeah, if he's around, he'll open it up and there was a place to sit. And I didn't know, but next door, uh, he has like a little sit down type restaurant. Uh, I, I never saw the menu, they were closed. Uh, he opens it up from Thursday to Sunday, Justin's oven. So anyways, you, you walk right by it. So it's uh, something to look forward to. Okay, bye-bye. There's a definite stop and smell the roses kind of feel to the beaver section, I tell you. <laughs> this is one you want to take your time with. I usually associate a, a cedar forest with a swamp and yet here I am, it's on a hillside, no swamp, must get like tremendous runoff. Late afternoon, yeah I had a good day. Um, a lot of road walk, but, uh, yeah, uh, there was a lot of up and down into the valley, so it, it, it wasn't all gravy, I'll tell you that, but, uh, yeah, I got some good kilometers in, and, uh, I'm thinking that, uh, I'm further ahead than I th thought I would be, that's number one, and, uh, next good spot is home, uh, Nothing looks too promising, but uh, I have to be a little bit careful because there is weather coming in. And uh, but 
I'm pretty close to a genius, so we'll see how it works. <laughs> but uh, next decent spot I can set up for rain, uh, yeah, it's gonna be home. Well, found a fairly flat spot. A little bench and a view. I'm just beat, I'm tripping all over, so. I'm gonna make this watch. Uh, I'm uh, gonna make it work. I'm gonna watch the. Uh, looks like there's turkey vultures in the valley down below catching the thermals. And then I'm going to bed. Okay, guys, I'll show you when I'm set up. Well, I'm at the store. And you know that feeling you get when you, you think you dropped something or you're forgetting something? And uh, I had to take my pack apart to. Uh, fill up with water because of the bladder and I was climbing up the hill and I just kept on thinking and thinking and thinking anyways I come to uh, set up camp and uh, the first thing I set up is my bug net no bug net so I either left it at the store or maybe on one of my stops or something but wow big sad face when I realized that uh, let me tell you I have a little head net and uh, I'll have to make that work. Uh, I'm going to try to call them and uh, it's not like losing a tent peg or anything. That's pretty, pretty essential equipment this time of year, but uh, I'll use the head net tonight. Hopefully the bugs won't be too bad and then I'll have to sort that out. If he has it, I'll get him to put it aside and maybe when I swing the other way up the, the valley or something I'll, uh, uh, I'll I'll make arrangements to get it but uh, yeah beautiful day and then kind of bummed out okay I'll show you my little tent here so I just set up a, a little a frame for tonight uh, it'll get cleaned up much better of course before I go to bed but uh, yeah anyways I'll just sit there with my sad face and have my supper and Maybe the, the, the view will cheer me up. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.